Good morning, and the Lord bless you so much. In life, there are battles. As I've said there before, you will fight and fight a lot of battles. But I want us today to seriously ask ourselves, what kind of a battle am I fighting? Could you be losing so many battles because you're fighting a wrong battle? Today, I want to speak to you on a very important subject, which is, this is not my battle. This is not my battle. In the second book of Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 17, it says, you will not need to fight this battle. You hear me again? You will not need to fight this battle. Stand firm, hold your position, and see the salvation of the Lord on your behalf. O Lord, O Jerusalem, O Judah, do not be afraid and do not be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them and the Lord will be with you. Did you know there are some battles that you are not supposed to fight? Why? It's because they are not yours. Either they are smaller than you or they are greater than you. If any battle is smaller than you, then it means that you are being demoted and degrading yourself. If a battle is greater than you, it means you're fighting a battle which is not yours. And there are quite a number of things that you ought to do and to think about before you fight any battle. Number one, think about whether the battle is on your level. It's very important to fight the battles which are on your level. If it's greater than you, you'll lose it. If it's lower than you, you will be playing games. So face the battles which are yours. But there are some battles which are not yours and they will come on your way. So what will you do with them? As the children of Israel were taught by God, the first thing you have to do is you don't need to fight the battle. Number two, you have to stand firm. And number three, you have to hold your position. And then number three, after holding your position, you must move to number four and see the salvation of the Lord who will fight on your behalf. And then number five, do not be afraid, never dismayed. And then number six, get up and get going. And that is important. There are battles where you will have to say, not this one, because they are not your level. And when the battle comes on your way, which is not your level, change the focus. Where do you focus when the battle is greater than you? Focus on God. That's why God says you don't need to fight that battle. Just believe me and trust me and I will fight that battle battle for you. And when you come to that level, you need to come and say, from today, I will never fight another wrong battle. And from today, I change my focus. And from today, I am not going to be fighting on a lower level. That's very important for you, child of God. Begin to fight, but fight the right battles. Some of them which are smaller than you, ignore them. Those which are greater than you, change your focus and look at God. And God will fight it for you. I wish you God's blessings and God's success, even as you go forward and fight the right battle. And the others, give them to God. God bless you and have a blessed day.